on everyone it has been a long time since i made a clip i've kind of just given up on youtube it was just a big waste of time for me but i got a ton of messages from so many of you asking me to come back and make videos again and i, I figured i'd drop in and just make one i had some time tonight but um basically i just wanted to say you know i've just been on my sub stack really i mean it's uh, a better way to monetize content if you're going to make content and uh, you know in the interest of not wasting time Substack has been where I've been every day I post uh, all the unusual trades I'm seeing in the market I post charts I post what I'm doing and uh, to this point you know I've been writing this since June 8th and I, I, I'm going to link this post today this is a post I made today I'm going to make it public but basically from when I began writing uh, June 8th I have a return of 51.1% and S&P is negative over that time frame. The Nasdaq's down almost 6%. And even this quarter, I'm up 28.5%. The S&P's up 13.9%. The Nasdaq's up 8.5%. And basically, you know, I go through my scans and I post charts of names I like for the upcoming week. You can see all that. I do that on the weekends and then I post my favorite setup for the week. And uh, yeah, I go over the technicals of the market and whatnot. So I've just been doing that on there. And the people in there, they get access to a Discord that uh, I created. There's like 100 members in there. And it's been fantastic. But the main thing I want to talk about in this clip is the importance of technicals. And I know I'm going to get a ton of you in the comments crying below uh, that I'm not discussing the fundamentals. But first off, I'll say... If you're over here complaining about it, you've either never managed money for a living or you're just completely oblivious to how the market really works. If fundamentals really mattered, I wouldn't be up. Look, here's my here's my Schwab account here. You can see here I am up uh, it, over the last three months up 54.36%. Uh, in the last three months up 36.4%. Last month up 17%. Uh, if technicals didn't matter, I wouldn't be able to generate returns like that. And so the main thing is people go about the market the wrong way. They get caught up in fundamentals, okay? Fundamentals are incredible. They are a tremendous tool. I get it, Warren Buffett made a fortune with fundamentals. Actually, Warren Buffett made a fortune because all assets went up over his 60 year career in the market as we cut rates. but the main thing is with technicals that people don't really grasp is technicals are showing you how buying is occurring or selling and so when you look at charts you know if you go back to my older videos here i told you the market was going to go to new lows uh we did that but the main thing is right now we're at a point in the market where we're at a do or die level right you zoom in on the weekly on the SPY, we've been in this downtrend all year. Now, this downtrend started first week of the year. And we've rejected this downtrend, look at this, four times. Until we get on the other side of this downtrend, we're in a bear market, okay? If we get a weekly close, and we're right there, if we get a weekly close on the other side of this downtrend, that's it. All your fundamentals, it, it doesn't matter what you think, right? Like if you think the economy is terrible, which I do, it doesn't matter. If if there's buying pressure on the other side of this trend line, that's it. We're, we're back in a bull market. You can forget about all your earnings and, and rate hikes and, and all that stuff. You can forget it because all that matters is all the algos, which do 90% of the buying in the market, they're going to start buying again on the other side of this thing. And look, I'll be honest with you. As you look at this right here, look at the MACD. I mean, this is a strong, strong setup. And so... Uh, I don't know what to tell you other than all your biases, all your fundamentals, all your calculations, they're meaningless. The, the whole market is a function of is there buying or is there selling and am I on the right side of it? And so when you step back and you look at what I've been able to do the last six months since I began writing my sub stack, now you'll say, well, that's only six months. That's only six months. Well, that's when I began writing my sub stack, okay? And the reason I began writing my sub stack was because I wanted to go over unusual options flow. That was something that was really important to me. And June 8th was the day where Sierra Wireless had that really unusual trade and I made that tweet. You can go timestamp it on my Twitter. June 8th was when I posted that tweet. And 
Sierra Wireless saw that huge like 60,000, 70,000 contract risk reversal and it ended up getting bought out like two months later. And so the thing people need to understand with the market is while fundamentals are nice, the real market, the real market, if you want to make money, is following options flow, overlaying it with charts, and coming up with a battle plan to trade names of strength, okay? You don't want to trade names of weakness to the long side. You can trade them to the short side, but you don't want to trade weakness. And what do I mean? What, what is weakness? Like right here, let's look at the dollar, okay? Right now, the dollar's been in a free fall, okay? Look at this. So I made a post like a month or two back on Twitter, you could see, and I literally top ticked this because I'd drawn this trend line back for the last decade and the dollar hit the top of it and it reversed perfectly, perfectly. And so you see this, look at this, look at this negative bearish divergence that's forming. The dollar has crumbled, right? The dollar has crumbled and in that time frame, the stocks have gone up. So it wasn't so much stocks went up as it was the dollar went down. But here's the thing. All these moving averages are pointing south. There's a bearish divergence. This isn't a chart you buy. It doesn't matter if it's the dollar. It doesn't matter if it's stocks. When a chart is this bad, you don't buy it. It's, it's that simple. You just, you don't buy it. And so you have all these guys pitching you on these like fundamentals of all these growth stocks and whatever. Those guys are done. They're, they're done. Like those names, like what if, what if you bought Shopify at 160 because of the growth story? Or what if you bought Teladoc? Or what if you bought any of these companies? Those equities are finished. They're finished, okay? And even now, if they compound it, I don't know, 25% a year, it's going to take forever to get back to where they were. So my point is, what I try to focus on most, the charts, none of you on YouTube cared about, right? Like every time I post a weekend chart session, it would have minimal views, minimal views. And so I was just like, okay, like I'm not going to waste my time doing this anymore. Nobody's paying attention. And the people who want to pay attention, they're on my sub stack anyway, so... It, I, that's why I left. Uh, I know people want me to do more fundamental analysis. That stuff is irrelevant. It's just irrelevant because look, here's the thing. If the fundamentals on a company you like are that good, a fund with more money than you is going to be buying it and the candle is going to look good. The candle is going to look good. Like if we zoom in on a daily, right? Like you're going to see either unusual options flow you're going to see unusual volume on a daily candle and you're going to see it carry on. Like recently, I, I, I've been really heavy on like Wix and Wix had, you know, the big uh, activists get involved. And the thing with Wix is you can see that it just maintained this uptrend all along. Look at this. Look at this line I drew. It bounced off the uptrend once and then twice and then a third time and then it carried on. But this whole time I focused on Wix, Splunk, Pinterest, and those are names that all have activists in them. And so when you focus on names in positions of strength, you're going to do better. And I think most people where they mess up with the market is they focus on weakness, right? Like I, I, I tweeted in April that Amazon was finished. I tweeted that it was finished. And it was. It's been eight months. It's been dead money. That's literally what it's been. Same with Meta. I posted a video on here. Uh, a few months back that meta was dead money at like 150 and people jumped all over me and then it, you know it just went to 88 dollars i think or something even now it's up 50 percent in a month it's at like 120 like when these equities die and you'll see it in the macd you'll see it in the rsi when they die you just don't want to be in it it doesn't matter what the fundamentals are it doesn't matter because you want to be in names that are performing well and so if you're one of those people like me that believes there's always a bull market somewhere, then you want to be in those names. You don't want to waste your time with the other stuff. And so that's what I try to go over. And, you know, I don't, I don't BS anyone. Uh, I, I think all the people that are in my Substack are, you know, going to tell you that it is what it is. You take the data, you make money with the data. It's up to you how you play it. You want to buy calls. You want to sell puts. You do what you do. I give you the data. That, that's what's most important. You know, you, you have these other services like, let's say, Unusual Whales. They give you all the options flow in the world, 
but that's not going to do anything for you. You know, for me, I break it down every single day. I break it down into the most unusual of the unusual options. And then I show you what I'm doing myself. And so for those of you that are interested, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you in my Substack, but I, I really don't want to waste time on YouTube because there's just so many people on here that don't really appreciate the technical analysis videos. And for me, that's the most important thing in the market. And it's fine. I mean, people can focus on fundamentals all they want, but you know what? How many fundamental investors in the last six months uh, outperformed the market by 60%? Not many. And so there is a method to my madness Many of the people who used to watch my videos on YouTube have been there from day one and they'll tell you in the comments below that, you know what, this guy's nuts, but it actually ended up working. Uh, a lot of people told me early on, you know, why don't others do this? Why don't others do that? They do do that. There's, there's plenty of traders in the world and they outperform these fund managers. You know, the, the fund managers you guys worship that are on CNBC and stuff, those guys manage billions of dollars, okay? They manage big pensions. They do all kinds of things. They, they really don't care what the market does. They're there to collect fees. There's a whole cutthroat world of traders trying to outperform. And if you've ever worked as a trader, uh, they won't keep you around if you don't outperform. And so there's a ton of people out there who know what they're doing and know how to outperform, but you're not going to see them on CNBC because... They've probably just made millions of dollars and retired because that's frankly what most traders do. They just, they go out, they make their money, they retire, they retire young and they move on with their lives. Like this isn't, uh, it's a stressful job and a lot of people don't want to sit around and become portfolio managers. To become a portfolio manager, you're more of a, of a salesman. A lot of these guys that you see, they're, they're high society types and traders really, you're a quiet person. You really don't want to be that. You know, some of these guys, look at some of these guys like Steve Cohen, they're just like, they're very quiet. You won't hear anything from them. They're not, uh, remember when Steve Cohen got into the debates with the people over AMC last year? I mean, he's just, he's not that kind of guy. And so, uh, I think, I think people just really don't understand who the traders are and they're not investors, but they know what they're doing. And a lot of the guys on Twitter that claim to be traders, they're not either because real traders aren't sitting there uh, buying puts and calls on, on crappy names. They're they're using credit spreads, they're using other things and uh, they're doing it the real way. So with that said, uh, that's my clip. I know it's been, I don't know how many months since I posted, but I just wanted to post one on there and uh, yeah, that's that's all I have to say. You know, I uh, I miss all of you who I don't get to chat with all the time, but I I, I can't spend an hour making these videos to uh, make thirty or forty cents a video. That's just a complete waste of time. So that's why I haven't been around. But I haven't forgotten you, and uh, I appreciate all your support on Twitter. And I, I hope you guys you know drop by the Substack sometime. There's a one week free trial. Sign up. Do the one-week free trial. If you don't like it, cancel and uh, move on. But if you do find value in it, after a week, you know, it's less than $2 a day. And you get access to not only all the unusual options flow, but you get access to a chat room with a ton of great guys in there. I mean, there's seriously over 100 guys in there. We're like a family now. And so uh, if you're interested, come by. All right. I'll catch you guys later.